Hey, are you looking for a way to translate your whole website into many different languages? If so, I have just the right video for you. We are going to be talking about Translate Press, which is my favorite WordPress plugin for website translation. We are also going to employ artificial intelligence to help you translate your website faster so that you can gain organic traffic and make your website available in many different languages. So in this quick video, I'm going to give you a full tutorial of Translate Press. So let's just jump into my workstation here and I'm going to show you exactly how to get started. Okay, so let's get moving and grooving. Translate Press. If you want to translate your full WordPress website into many different languages, this is your top tool. I have checked many of these plugins because I am creating an online course platform, a multilingual course platform called Camp Center. So over there, we were testing many options and Translate Press came out uh, on top as a top tool for website translation. Why? Because it's fast, it's effective, and it's also not really expensive. So it's basically a mm, your regular WordPress plugin used by 300,000 websites. You can use 130 plus languages. You can uh, use automatic translation. So that's exactly what I'm going to show you how to do in uh, this short video. So you can just go to translatepress.com if you want to learn more. But basically, you can see Camp Center over here and the website natively is in English, but you can also change uh, it into another language. So for example, you can just uh, click on German and now the whole thing is in German. Uh, you can also just choose Francois so now you have the full website in French and the same thing for a Polish or Brazilian Portuguese. Okay, so uh, this is really great because if you have your content available in many languages, then you can rank for a variety of keywords in the search engines for uh, the keywords in these languages, right? So why limit yourself to just English when let's say you have a massage course, an online massage course. So you can offer it just in English or you can translate it into other languages and make it available for people from all around the world, right? So you are expanding your reach really by quite a big margin. So how does it work? So you can just choose the personal one for $7.99, business $13.99 or developer. So the personal one, you can use it on just a single website. Business, you can use it on three different websites. Then developer, you can use it on unlimited websites. So I have this business package here because it has really cool extra features. For example, DeepL automatic translation that allows you to translate your full website automatically with the use of AI. Uh, but you also have uh, some other really cool features here. One of the most popular ones is SEO pack uh, add-on. So then you can translate the title of the page, the meta description, the URL slug, and all of these good things that allow you to rank in the search engines. So let's say that you already set up your account and then you would just go to uh, plugins, right? So you would just go to uh, plugins, add new plugin, then uh, upload uh, that plugin that you have downloaded uh, from that page uh, that I have just shown you, this, this page over here. Uh, right, so wordpress.org, plugins, translate, press, multilingual. And then you once you uh, have installed it, you have this translate press settings uh, here. So then you can just find it here in your settings on WordPress. Uh, or mm, you can also just uh, find it in this menu right here, the top menu on WordPress. So first off, you just set up your default language. Then you can add extra languages 
Uh, for example, here on our website, we have French, German, Polish, and uh, Portuguese. Uh, but you can uh, choose from many other languages, as you can see here. We have 120 plus languages available. Uh, so then you just add it and then the website uh, basically becomes available in that language. So you have just, you can just uh, pick the uh, specific slug, right? So uh, for example, if we just go on, um, on here, you can see that um, right now it's uh, campcenter.com. Mm, so that's the English version. But if we just uh, type a slash fr, uh, you <clears throat> will see the French version. And you even have this uh, special pop-up here, so then you can uh, choose which language you want, and you can um, choose the specific settings for that pop-up. I will show you uh, everything later. But then when you click on um, uh, other um, pages on the website, you can see that it has uh, this uh, fr over here, and that the slug is translated, that the title of the page is translated. So this is like a full um, website translation uh, service. And the great thing is that it doesn't really affect site speed so much. This is really important for SEO. So if you are looking for a, a solution that will be uh, not uh, really um, slowing down your website, this is really great. Okay, so then you have some extra options here. We are in the general tab. So uh, you have the native language uh, name. Um, you can use a subdirectory uh, for the default language, uh, force language in uh, custom links. Okay, so basically I've poured over these options for a long time to just set up everything properly. So if you ever download this plugin, I suggest you just copy these uh, settings right here. Then you have this language switcher. Uh, so you can just uh, have this kind of either floating uh, or embedded kind of language switcher on your website. We are not really using it, uh, but it's uh, quite useful, right? If you um, don't have a custom solution, but probably some kind of custom solution for this language switcher would be a little bit better. Uh, and then you have this automatic user language detection, so then you can just change it in the advanced uh, tab, okay? So that's like the basic setup, okay? So then you have, uh, let's just explore uh, these uh, other options. So first off, we are going to uh, just explore how to use this translation editor. So for example, uh, you can just uh, either click on this option right here, translate um, site, but you can also, uh, once you are in um, the WordPress editor, let's say that we are in English here, <clears throat> and you want to just translate this specific page, so then you would just click on translate page. Then you have these different uh, elements, basically, that you can translate. So everything that has uh, this uh, kind of translate icon here, you can easily uh, translate. So let's say that right now we are in English, uh, right? So for example, we want to translate this part. So then you just click on it and uh, you can uh, already see that we have this fragment over here and you would just change it to other languages uh, over here. So you have this extra menu, for example, develop your skills, right? So this is the English version. Uh, but then you can just uh, explore and just um, change this translation for other languages so that when somebody changes to uh, another language, they will see exactly this. So this is really helpful. Uh, you want to uh, probably first use automatic translation with the use of AI, but later uh, you still want to localize it with the help of a native uh, speaker of a specific language, uh, you know, because it's going to be, uh, the, the AI translation is just not ideal. Uh, let's uh, say that. Okay, so then basically you just uh, click on save. Uh, and with this SEO pack, you also have uh, this ability uh, to also change some of the meta information. Okay, so uh, the page title, 
uh, that's uh, really important, right? So that you have the right page title for uh, your pages in these different languages. Then you have the meta description uh, and you also have mm, 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 mm. somewhere out there, there was the ability to like change the slug, the URL slug. Oh, where is it? I cannot find it right now. Mm, maybe if we just go to here. Mm, oh yes, here, slugs. So then you can just also check, check the uh, slug. So for example, here we have makeup class, but then here we have uh, cours de maquillage, right? Or cours maquillage. Uh, so then uh, it's all SEO friendly. Okay, let's go through some other um, options that are available here. So I have mentioned that you have uh, automatic translation. So right now we have uh, just disabled the automatic translation because first the whole website went through the automatic translation process. So now we are just uh, making some small improvements here and there, but basically you could just click on the yes. Uh, and over here, you can choose which uh, translation engine you want to use. DeepL is way better than um, tr Google Translate. Uh, then you have the API type that you can choose. Uh, so I would suggest Pro. Actually, DeepL is pretty uh, cheap. And then you just plug in that DeepL API key in here uh, so that the services, both services, Translate Press and uh, DeepL are connected. So then if somebody changes the language of the website, uh, DeepL will just start translating it uh, and generating that extra translation just automatically. So this is really great. Uh, and then you have add-ons. So uh, you can choose the SEO pack so that you can uh, just translate all of the SEO information like page title, meta description, SEO tag and whatever. Uh, then. Uh, you can also add, you know, multiple uh, languages. So that's basically <laughs> like a given, right? So you should uh, always have this one on. Uh, then you have some other add-ons like uh, DeepL automatic translation, uh, automatic user language translation. So this automatically redirects new visitors to their preferred language based on browser settings or IP address. Okay, so for example, if my browser is set to English and I go into the English version, it will not even show me any pop-up. But let's say that my browser is set to French and I land on the English version, then it will ask me, hey, do you want to change to French? Okay, but then you can also change it uh, um, according to the IP address. Then you have some other um, add-ons that maybe are not really useful, but perhaps you can find some use cases for them, like translator accounts, bro browse as a user role, mm, navigation based on language, and profile builder, paid member subscriptions, and webhooks. So we are not going uh, to get into that in uh, this little tutorial. Uh, then you also have a uh, license. So here you basically just plug your license key to uh, activate the plugin, right? So everything is connected. And finally, you have this advanced, uh, these advanced settings here. So automatic user language detection. So first by browser language, then by IP address. Uh, you also uh, have this ability to create this pop-up window that you have already seen at the beginning. Uh, so over here, uh, the user can just uh, switch uh, their language, right? Mm, you also have this hello bar, but I have found that pop-up is a little bit better. Uh, and you can basically just set up uh, this pop-up over here. Uh, then you have some troubleshooting options. Uh, then exclude strings, uh, but this is uh, really advanced, so we are not going to get into that. Then debug, uh, miscellaneous uh, options. So you can just click through all of these things and set them up uh, the way uh, you want. Uh, so basically that's, that's the overview, right? You can just translate your whole website into many uh, different languages. You can uh, get traffic from uh, many countries from around the world and expand your reach 
dramatically with the use of this plugin. Just make sure to pay attention to the translation quality, because as I said, the AI translation is not perfect just yet. So once you have translated your content automatically, use a native speaker to localize that translation for you. You can just use um, somebody from, let's say, Upwork for that. So I hope that this was really helpful. You can find the link to Translate Press in the description if you want to uh, support the channel. And if you like this content, I highly recommend that you like and uh, this video and subscribe to my channel. I'm talking about digital marketing tools, uh, marketing strategies, uh, artificial intelligence. So if you are into this type of content, subscribe and I will see you in the next video.